Chris Wahabiking.com, and I am extremely proud to bring you the new Quantum 680 UC umbrella carbon hexacopter. So I've actually got, uh, these are the same uh, hexacopters right here. This one just has a few options on it uh, that we're gonna go over here in a second. But let's go ahead and dive into it real quick. Now this was actually designed as two sub-assemblies, meaning that uh, the hexacopter right here, I'm just gonna remove it from its undercarriage, is designed so that it has the flight controller, the motors, the ESCs, uh, everything related to it's being able to fly independently by itself right here. Now it has some really nice uh, uh, lag style uh, thumb screw bolts uh, that bolt through the, uh, the frame. And very nice and light by the way, these are, these are all hard anodized aluminum. Bolt through the frame uh, and attach it to the undercarriage. Now a couple of advantages uh, to this is that you can have one hexacopter set up and switch uh, the undercarriages in between whatever the application is, whether it be utilitarian or used as an AP uh, platform or aero photography platform. So it allows you to have uh, multiple configurations and it's just hot swappable between the two. Uh, all really to the undercarriage you have is power and then possibly a roll pitch yaw to a three axis gimbal in that uh, particular setup. So let's go ahead and talk about this uh, frame. Extremely lightweight. It's full carbon uh, as far as the arms, and this is a uh, uh, built up uh, carbon wrapped, it's not extruded, so it's extremely strong, and you can see the quality into that. Uh, this is completely metal, it's all CNC, hard anodized, all points, there's absolutely no plastic in this frame whatsoever, and, and it is just extremely light. We'll go ahead and pop it on the scale here in a second. Uh, one thing I wanna talk about is these motor arms. Uh, the, uh, the motor arms themselves, like I was saying, all uh, aluminum CNC, extremely lightweight, but has mounting on the top and the bottom, and what this allows you to do is go ahead and drop three of the arms out and make a Y6 configuration if you want to do that. So you can actually mount downward facing arms onto that. You've got a nice uh, space right in between the, uh, the carbon and the, and the aluminum on the top that allows the uh, ESC to go in between the two of those for a nice clean install. And the wires, of course, come right out of here. And if you're running a little bit larger ESC where it doesn't quite fit due to the capacitors, uh, of course, it's got provisions for uh, bolting right on the bottom here, as well as if we take a look in between the frame stacks here, uh, it's got ESC mounting and uh, hard point mounting in there as well. Now, the UC stands for umbrella carbon. The umbrella meaning it is the way that it folds down. These uh, quick release thumb screws just unscrew and these uh, sweep downwards makes for an extremely tight, portable solution. How it disengages from the undercarriage, these sweep down, can easily be rotated and just put right into a backpack with the undercarriage. What other provisions that you need? So it's highly portable in, in that sense. So as far as uh, we, we covered, uh, this is what kind of makes the Quantum the Pro is that it's all metal parts, all CNC, uh, the workmanship and the quality of this, as well as the design of it. Uh, and by the design, meaning that we've made parts readily available, they're available now under the new items page that are hot swappable for this, meaning it's undercarriage. Like I was mentioning before, this is the same frame as this frame right here. The only difference is it looks bigger because it has taller retractable landing gear on it, uh, as well as motors and props. So of course it looks a little bit bigger, but it is actually the same hexacopter right in here. I've uh, fashioned up a little drop uh, gimbal on this, and I'm actually gonna be sending this over to our US team to, uh, to do some uh, great uh, product profiles on it, uh, fly it around. And the reason I did this little drop on here uh, off these uh, accessory rails is so that it'll get the props out of you. Uh, a lot of problems that you, you see on a lot of other 680 frames is that there's no drop in the camera. So even though you've got this great view, occasionally you'll see the props dip into the top of the screen. Uh, doing something like this where you have these nice tall landing gear uh, just absolutely makes it really the prop, prop uh, free view. Now, another benefit of this is on this one right here, which is a, a bolt on. It's the same actually subframe right in here. The only difference is that a, a retract system was put right in between there. Still utilizes the carbon 18 millimeter uh, landing struts uh, from the original kit. So it's basically just this rail, which of course is quick release, uh, allows you to disengage these and pull, pull them out, uh, as well as the top disengages and pulls up. But the advantage of the retractable landing gear and this drop gimbal, you're able to actually do 360 degree uh, unobstructed views since the landing gear sweeps up and out of the way on this. Now we've got a couple of variations uh, of the landing gear. We've got this one, which utilizes the same stock carbon fiber 18 millimeter tubes. And we've also got this one, that you may have noticed uh, last week or two weeks ago, we uh, introduced a little 450 retract landing gear set, uh, universal set, and that's what this is right here. Is this one's designed for the uh, 600, 700 class uh, multi-rotors right in there. Now it does have these hard mounting points that are directly compatible with this, and I wouldn't call this an economical version to this set. It's just a little bit different. This one uses uh, aluminum tubes, uh, still retracts and gets that out of view, but this uh, doesn't have the, the quick release uh, option as well as the aluminum tubes are a little bit lighter. 
So this is a lighter configuration. So it all depends on your application. The fact that the top disengages from the bottom and you can sweep these arms up, still highly portable solution. So it just kind of depends on what uh, you're, you're utilizing there. So some of the key points that I want to talk to uh, is, and, and drive in on the workmanship and the quality of this uh, Pro. Uh, let's actually just compare it to another Pro that's on a market. I'm just going to go ahead and set these on down. And this is the Terra 680 Pro. Uh, fantastic multi-rotor, but there are some differences between this and that. You know, where I would consider this uh, more, more than just a consumer grade, I would actually consider it a, a professional product. Uh, this one's probably a little bit more in the consumer grade product. Uh, and, and the other benefit is, is the umbrella folding. Now, pros and cons to both, uh, they're both fantastic products. Um, this one where it's a little bit more portable with the umbrella carbon style. You know, the, uh, the Terrot uses a, a system where the arms disengage, but you're still dealing with this whole length, you know, of uh, almost 700 millimeters that you gotta deal with, where this one breaks completely down. You can turn it upside down and put it in a, a backpack, especially if you use under the, the uh, new items page that we have the quick release prop adapters. You can just pop the props off of that and put them in a baggie and put it in your bag makes for a highly portable solution. Now, if we take a look at the, uh, the Terra, which is coming in uh, relatively the same pricing as the Quantum Pro, uh, we've got you know plastic uh, points in here versus all aluminum CNC parts. Um, this one does have some advantages uh, as well as, as probably uh, some weight because it doesn't have the same provisions as the landing gear. Of course, the Terra has some uh, great advantages. It has a built-in power distribution board, but since the center plate on this one is carbon and carbon is conductive, it has a, a, an outside or you need to provide a power distribution board. Like I said, pros and cons to both uh, hexacopters, you're gonna need to decide what it is that you're trying to build and what you're trying to accomplish and decide which one's best for you. Uh, but both are great products. Now, the stock landing gear, this is the configuration that you get when you buy it right here as it is right here. We talked about some of the options that we're gonna have listed uh, and available. But we talked about the, uh, the hexacopter frame itself, which houses the FC. Uh, the, uh, the ESCs and everything that make it the, uh, the hexacopter. When it comes to the undercarriage, uh, it, the wiring and the power uh, is pretty much that's just gonna be coming down here. It has really nice uh, battery support on the backside, which is adjustable, as well as the forward macing uh, rails that allow you to adjust your center of gravity to make it uh, fly absolutely perfect on that. It's uh, strutted, these are all carbon and aluminum reinforced, so it's an absolutely uh, fantastic landing gear, extremely robust. So you're gonna have no worries whatsoever when you're flying a nice expensive camera such as a Nex or a GH3 or any of those underneath this, you're gonna have absolutely no problems. All right, let's go over the weight on this. Uh, like I was talking, we're gonna weigh these uh, as independent components so you guys can get an idea of what it's going to weigh. Of course, all the specs are listed under the, uh, the specifications and features on the web copy itself. But if we go ahead and throw the, uh, the hex frame itself on the scale, uh, 520 kilograms, extremely light for a 680. That's definitely well below my, uh, my one gram per uh, uh, one millimeter of a frame weight for that itself. Now, if you start looking at some of the options, such as the landing gear provisions, this is the stock landing gear that come with it, all carbon and aluminum built up, and that is coming at rate 275 for the stock landing gear. And if we take a look at some of the options here of the retractable landing gear set, we'll throw that on. 351 for there. So guys, you're gonna be extremely light for this all up uh, weight package on this. It's, it's definitely a much lighter frame than a lot of them on the market that are in this size class. You can definitely see that right on the scale. Guys, this is the new Quantum Pro UC 680. Uh, it's a fantastic hexacopter. We're extremely proud of it. And uh, the build quality, you're not gonna be disappointed. As always, subscribe to your YouTube channel. Definitely check this out if you're in the market for a 680. We'll see you next time.